walking pneumonia cases have been reported over the last five weeks at Andrew Jackson Middle School in Cross Lanes. Very concerning. Yeah. The Kanawha Charleston Health Department has reported 18 cases of walking pneumonia from that school with 31 complaints of respiratory illness as well. News Channel 3's Kimberly Donahue is on scene outside of the school. She spoke with health department officials about what to, how to spot it and what to do if you have it. While the number of walking pneumonia cases reported at Andrew Jackson Middle School may be concerning, experts at the Kanawha Charleston Health Department say this is one of the most common illnesses in the United States and can be treated with antibiotics and prevented from spreading with measures like hand washing and extra cleaning. Dr. Stephen Eschenauer with the Kanawha Charleston Health Department says it is not uncommon to see illnesses like walking pneumonia in a setting like a school. When you do have any type of pneumonia that breaks out into a small group of closely intimate, uh, for instance, students, where they're being together a lot, it's not uncommon for them to pass one disease to another. You tend to see this frequently when kids go to school. Kanawha County Schools say they increase cleaning at the school level to keep students healthy. Eschenauer says the symptoms of walking pneumonia look similar to other respiratory illnesses, so it's ideal to get checked out. If, if your child is experiencing upper respiratory symptoms, such as cough, fever, uh, coughing up some sputum, then they may want to have their child uh, checked, particularly at their, their primary care provider, and they can also be swabbed there. Eschenauer says with treatment, the illness should last about a week, and since it is common, it can be treated with antibiotics. But if you do have a medication allergy, Eschenauer says a doctor should be able to find you an appropriate treatment. In Kanawha County, Kimberly Donahue, WSAZ News Channel 3. So if you or a loved one is immunocompromised or near someone who has pneumonia, the health department